Welcome. Welcome back everyone. We are trying to warm up winter this morning by thinking about everything we like to do during the summer and warm weather months. That's right. It gets pretty toasty during the summer months and a perfect summer cocktail is a great way to cool off. So we have Claire from Tiny Tiki in studio with uh -huh. us this morning. Right. We're going to be making up some mocktails. Oh yeah. Because this is morning television yeah, after all. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> so Juan, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, Tiny Tiki, of course the name. Yes, it's, it's very tiny. <laughs> and, and it's a tiki it's bar. It's a tiki bar, yes. Yes, so tell us a little bit about it. So I decided that Spokane needed a little getaway. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like most bars are more classic on the classic side and Spokane uh, needed a little oasis. So I decided to open one. And if you look inside, we're showing you right now, the entire thing, I mean ceiling, walls, everything. You just feel like you are in another part of the world when yeah, you walk in there, I feel like. Definitely, and that's the whole purpose of a tiki bar is to have an escape, to feel like you're leaving 2nd Avenue downtown and walking into a little oasis, so. And, and you're really bringing a so little bit of that with us mm -hmm. this morning, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And Absolutely. you have a signature mocktail for each of us. We're so excited. We can start with the birthday boy. Well, All right. Thank you. What are you making for you him? You got it. I'm going to make him our classic painkiller, which is our Ooh, most popular. I like the name oh, no. That doesn't sound dangerous <laughs> It's at our all. most popular you drink. So, oh, is you know. It? Oh, yeah, definitely. So what's in this? So we're going to do uh, an ounce of coconut cream, okay. which is kind of a sweetened, condensed coconut It's cream. cold, isn't it? I know, I it's know, right? very exactly. cold. <laughs> I should have warmed it up a little. So we're going to start with an ounce of that. Oop. Nice. Mm. So we'll put that into our glass. And the glasses that you have, the actual physical glasses are so beautiful. Thank too. you. I love them. And we'll do an ounce and a half of coconut milk. Mm. Yeah. And I will say all the drinks on the menu reflect the beach life. Absolutely. Um, a lot of rum drinks and stuff that to make you feel like you're on vacation. It's to add to e effect for mm -hmm. sure. And then this is an ounce of pineapple. Oh, my favorite. Yum. And then we're going to just go ahead. This is a pain killer. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta shake have the shaker up. action, oh, right? Oh, you have to. Oh, I'm excited for this part. <laughs> you gotta get Take a little frost. Oh, you gotta yeah. put on a show, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna pop that open, throw it in the glass. Wow. And top it off with a little more ice. Yum, that's easy. Oh, yeah. But then you gotta add all the fun stuff. A little garnish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we got a little pineapple frond. Okay. Cute. An umbrella, and a little dash of nutmeg. Wow. So These festive. are fancy. Listen, ladies, I'm, I'm out for the day. Happy right? birthday. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. All right. And now both of you have your own drinks as yes. well. Oh, absolutely. What, what do we get to try now? So I'm going to do a passion fruit mojito. Ooh. Yeah, which Yummy. will be a nice little refreshing cocktail. I feel like mojitos are having a moment right now. Oh, absolutely. Is that they true? Are. Oh, yeah. And they're we'll making a comeback. We'll yes. start with some limes, some fresh mint. We'll give that a quick little muddle. And there's nothing more refreshing than a mint oh. drink on a hot Oh, absolutely. Day. It's the best. We'll throw in a little pineapple, a little passion fruit syrup. Wow. Mm -hmm. And do you make a lot of these syrups and juices and, and things like that? Absolutely. In the house? So we, we do all fresh squeezed juice and we make as much syrup as we can. Gotcha. It's, it's a hard thing to source sometimes. This is a little blood orange juice. Ooh, and that's fresh squeezed as we see. Oh, absolutely. Mm. So we're gonna go ahead, pop it on a big shaker. I also noticed there's a lot of LaCroix around here. And oh I'm yeah. a huge fan of LaCroix, so. Me too. It's there's the out. most yeah. refreshing soda water, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I agree. <laughs> there's a mango drink on the menu that oh, I yeah. highly recommend. That's really refreshing. And it's just a vibe down at the Tiki Bar. It's I was a whole experience. Claire, yeah, telling Claire in the break, I just took my mom there this weekend and she had a blast. So mom approved, we've been there on my birthday. I mean, it's a good time, just for everyone. Well, I appreciate you saying yeah. that. Yeah, well, I'm just saying it's open for everyone who's out there, right? It's so that's yeah. the passion fruit mojito. We might have a little time to squeeze in the last one you if we can, it. or we can at least go through Absolutely. parts of it. And what, so, oh, that passion one's beautiful. Passion fruit mojito, a little uh, umbrella. So festive. All right, and then the last one is a LaCroix oh, passion nice. fruit cocktail. Mm. So something pretty similar. All right. So we're going to start oh, with so good. a little bit of pineapple. I'll stop with the measuring so we gotta so we can make it. Sure. A little bit of passion fruit. I'll definitely take the one that's not measured. Yeah, you can always <laughs> just <add all> it. <laughs> and a squeeze of lime. 
You know, in the evening time, these are complemented with a, a handful of alcohol yes. choices. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Normally, we put rum in all of these. Uh, that's what I was going to ask. That's the alcoholic ingredient in all of this that absolutely. you make in-house? Okay. Yes, but we do offer classic cocktails as well that don't include rum, uh, if that's not your cup of so tea. So if I'm a huge vodka fan, there's choices Oh, we can make that me. vodka. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't you worry, guys. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. <laughs> Well, right. as you are finishing that one up, remind folks where you're located, what your hours are, how mm -hmm. they can come visit. So we are at 307 West 2nd Avenue downtown. Uh, our hours are uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., but we will be opening at 4 p.m. starting in March. Nice. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, to give the happy hour crowd yeah. a little bit of a you know, chance to get in. And I know we can find you on Instagram. Absolutely. And other social media, probably. Absolutely, we have all of that. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Oh, Let's do a cheers to Can everyone. Cheers Thank here. you, Claire, Thank so you much. Thank you for coming in this yeah, morning. My pleasure. Tiny tiki, yum mm. yum. All right. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Crime 2 Morning News. It's refreshing. I love mm. it. <laughs> <laughs>